Tropical storm Carlotta forms off coast of Acapulco waves crash on the beach in San Jose del Cabo, Mexico, Wednesday, June 13, 2018, before the arrival of tropical storm Bud. A tropical storm warning was issued for a stretch of coastline from Santa Fe to La Paz that includes the twin resort cities of Los Cabos. AP Photo, Juliet Williams, Mexico City, AP, Tropical Storm Carlotta headed toward landfall on Mexico's Pacific coast east of Acapulco on Friday, bringing with it heavy rains and wind. Carlotta, the third named storm of the Pacific hurricane season, was forecast to hit the land Saturday, according to the U.S. National Hurricane Center. said that Carlotta had maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers per hour, and its center was located about 70 miles, 110 kilometers, southeast of Acapulco. The storm was moving toward the northeast at 3 miles per hour, 6 kilometers per hour. The Hurricane Center says the storm threatens torrential rains for the coastline of the southern states of Guerrero and Oaxaca, with up to 10 inches possible in some areas. Also Friday, the Mexican Interior Department reported that there were no deaths in the resort cities of Los Cabos from Tropical Storm Bud, which left the Baja California Peninsula and re-emerged over the Gulf of California. The U.S. National Hurricane Center downgraded Bud to a tropical depression in the morning when its sustained winds dropped to 35 miles per hour, 55 kilometers per hour. It was moving north at 10 miles per hour, 17 kilometers per hour, toward the Mexican mainland and the state of Sonora. Mexico's National Water Commission said that Bud had made landfall over Baja California Sur on Thursday night. The remnants of Bud were about 150 miles 245 kilometers south-southeast of Guaymas, Mexico. It was expected to bring heavy rain to northwest Mexico and the southwest United States. Baja California Sur Gov. Carlos Mendoza Davis said that preliminary reports indicated Bud did not cause any significant damage. The airport in La Paz was closed temporarily Friday morning because of limited visibility, but it reopened later in the morning. Bud lashed palms trees and its waves pounded the sand on the Baja Peninsula, where memories were still fresh of the extensive damage done in 2014 by a direct hit from Category 3 Hurricane Odile. Overall, however, there was a sense of relief that Bud had been sapped of most of its punch. It was previously a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, 210 kilometers per hour. But it still threw heavy rainfall over a large swath of Mexico. Earlier in the week, intense rain overwhelmed a reservoir in the central city of Guanajuato, sending a river of water through downtown streets that flooded homes and vehicles. The Hurricane Center said Bud could cause dangerous surf and bring in additional 2 to 4 inches of rain to Sonora State in northwest Mexico, threatening floods and landslides. Copyright Copyright 2018 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published broadcast, written or redistributed.